Hi friends, today we will learn how to install Oracle 10G Express Edition in Windows and I will give the step by step procedure how to install the software and as well as I will provide the link in the description of that application and you can follow it and we can also use Oracle 21C Express but it is has a lot of changes in Oracle 10G and 21C. So we will today we will just install the Oracle 10G, which is very user interface is very good to understand. So we will today install that software. Let's go for the screen and let's install it. Now I am at my monitor. Now see here, I have given an link. So just copy it and go for the Chrome browser and just paste this and I will provide this link in description also and just put enter you can install it this one and it will ask this is an uh, if, if you want to download this directly maybe it having a something issue it will go like that but don't worry you can install it click on download anyway and has started for the download and because I have already installed this so that you install this and just copy paste for the desktop okay after copy pasting this into the de desktop you will just one time you put a refresh and try to give restart just you restart your system then once again you come and then double tap on this software for application okay after giving double tap you will get this type of pop-up uh, it will say it will say that preparing to be installed now it takes i think minimum two three minutes i will make it very fast to become a video very short video so i will make it very short If you get this type of error, just restart your computer. Okay. I hope for you guys, not know this error will not come. You just restart it. Okay. After, okay. Now, after the installation process, after waiting to two to three minutes, this pop up will come after 30 seconds with the all applications will be closed automatically. Then, after 30 seconds this pop will be open so after this clicking just click on next and this pop will become for you and you view this agree and you for the next and this type of another pop up will become you can just select the oracle tenji express you can give the next and now is the main important thing this I suggest you guys to keep the password system. This will ask you this password to give the system S Y S T E M system and S Y S T -E system. Why I am saying because of uh, you keep this password as a system because of the username will be the system only and the password also will be the system and also the username also will be the system. When you try to login you want the same username and password so you will be remember perfectly if you uh, if you put uh, something password maybe you can forgot so be careful so i suggest you guys to keep system and system that's all and keep and just confirm it if it is confirmed it will it will it provide this um uh, uh, page if it is wrong it give the output like your password is not matched you put the password is correct in a small letter okay now click on the install it takes minimum five to six minutes to install okay this type of pop will become 
and this and this will be become very okay now one pop up will become we need to wait we need to be calm because it takes one or two minutes to come that pop up okay yeah now you can see this pop up has came now when you click on finish here listen listen here when you click on finish it will automatically open the default web browser and if it will open the gui interface let's see it will open or not yeah it is loading something yes you can see it is opening now i will give two types of opening this software Okay, just see this three three sorry three types i will i will provide you three types how to open how you can open this software okay so hello guys you are really welcome to the database oracle tenji this is the interface now see here Actually, i have all, all already installed and i have uninstalled then for for the purpose of video i have uninstalled then so it's showing me automatic suggestion of the password your username will be the system and your password will be the system okay if you have keeping the password system then the system if you have make your own password it's okay you give your own password and click on login this will oh okay after giving the correct password if you are having your okay i will give this one. okay after giving your password this interface will come now you just click on sql then you click on sql commands there we go you can create your applications uh, sorry you can create your database from here you can write create Now I will write it just basic command, only one command, just to check up it is working or not. now you can select by clicking triple click on mouse then this line will be selected then click on run click on don't click on save click on run and it will execute so here we go our table is created it is showing our table is created okay if you want to save your commands just click on save if you want to save okay click on save and give the name give the name and click on save after saving it once again control a 
just click click come here and control put control a then once again click on save once again save that's all because first time you should create a folder as a type of folder it will save then you want to select all the queries which you have written then you want to save when you click on save then it will save if you want to open this go for the saved queries and double tap it it will automatically open that's all now for opening this application you have three types first of all you want to remember the number if it is not possible you write in a book i'll take a screen here one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon colon not semicolon double colon means colon okay eight zero eight zero this is the port of the slash and apx and one second slash and when you put this when you when you enter your application will be open this is the first method second method go here and write local l o c a l h o local host colon one second colon eight zero eight zero slash a p x okay you will write this and you once again click on enter this will open the same you can see here this is also same now another another you want to you not need to write any types of queries or local host or one to seven just go for the start menu and search search home what you will search you will search home and come down you will get one particular this i hope you can see no you cannot see i think so just a minute yeah you can so i think click on start menu and search home h o m e home now come down you can see here you will get go to home sorry go to database home page all right you click on it click on it just click this will automatically open closing or everything you search home you click on start menu and search home home you will get go to database home page click on it and now this is also another method to open this as it is same number it also provide you can open it manually or else by using application anything else okay thank you guys this is the procedure how you can install this application okay i'm ending this video